Good morning. Hope you're having a good day. My day's off to a great start so far, and I'm excited about today's passage. If you have your Bibles, turn to Psalm 1, the very first chapter in the book of Psalm. We're going to look at part of that chapter today, and I hope it's an encouragement to you because it's been a real encouragement to me. So listen as I read along. Uh, Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatsoever he does prospers. Now there are some really cool principles in this verse. I'm just going to look at a couple of them today. So the delight, our delight should be in the law of the Lord, which is the Bible, God's word. And so, and in his law did he meditate day and night. So when we memorize God's word, we can meditate on it, we can think about it, and we learn to know our creator and become like him because we're renewing our hearts and our minds. And so we find that we make better decisions and we make right choices when they're based on God's word. And what does he give us an example? If we do that, if we think about God's word and we meditate on it, we pray about it, we ask the Holy Spirit to help us understand it, well, he says we're like a tree planted by waters, a river of water. So there's always fresh water flowing. It's not even just stagnant water. There's fresh water flowing. And that fresh water brings life and food and nutrients. And that tree grows and it's super healthy. And it has great leaves. It's, the leaves don't dry up. And it has great. It produces great fruit, whatever that fruit might be. My brother has an orange grove. And if those trees aren't watered properly, they don't grow properly. The leaves start to wither up and, and the, the oranges will fall off the tree before they are even ripe and before they can be used or picked because that water brings life. And Jesus said, I'm a living water. I will give you water that you'll never thirst again. That comes from him. He's a source of life. And so as we read God's word and we think about and meditate on and pray about God's word, it gives us life. It's like if we stop drinking water, we'd be in big trouble. You can go without food for a long period of time, but you can't go for very long without water. We have to have water to live. And often we try to live our lives without God's water. We try to live our lives without God's word. And we wonder why we make bad choices or we wonder why God feels so far away. He's not far away. We've moved away from his word. And so our thoughts aren't full of his promises. They're full of lies and fear. And so we're like, I don't know what to do. But if we just go to God's word, we take a drink of that living water and we begin to think like God and begin to understand how God wants us to think and act and respond. We get that peace. He promises peace that passes understanding. Don't you want that in your heart and life today? I know I do. So let's get into God's word. If you're joining me today, you're doing just that. And so let's make it a practice and a habit to get into God's word every day, to get to know him, to understand him and to love him and to live like him. Let's pray. God, we come before you today. We just thank you that we can. We thank you that your word is true and strong and powerful, and it will guide and direct our lives as you promised. God, we need you. We need the living water of your word. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great Wednesday.